Hey, YouTubers! For our last production, we wanted to use a revolving stage. This is the one we used right here. After some investigation, I found out they can be rented, but they are rather pricey. In fact, it would take up half of our budget. So I decided to see if I could build one. We ended up spending just as much of our budget, but at least the revolving stage would be ours and we could use it again for future projects. First thing we did was search the internet for some building instructions. There are some great ones out there, but most of them are for big and also very heavy stages. I got lucky though, I found an excellent woodworker who is willing to help me build one. So here's what we did. First, we build a deck out of nine parts. The bottom is reinforced with two layers of wood. The floor would consist of yet another disc with caster wheels in two circles. By the way, you need the non-swiveling type. The bottom disc is also built from nine parts and can be taken apart. In the middle is a big bearing. The middle deck is placed on top and then the sides. With just two persons, the revolving stage can be set up in just about 30 minutes. The sides of the deck are held together with draw bolt catches. Once the paint was on, it started to look a lot better. It was time for a test spin, but there's no drive yet. Well, other than my sons giving it their best. Our biggest challenge was finding a motor that would fit underneath the stage, which is only 12 and a half centimeters high. That's about five inches, guys. Because we work with children, I wanted no moving parts outside of the disc. Better safe than sorry. This turned out to be quite difficult, because the electromotors we could find were either too big or not strong enough. We did find this 800 watt DC motor, which was perfect, because it would fit and it could easily be controlled using DMX. A word of thanks to the people of Alpatech, who were more than happy to help us with some very good advice. We still needed a shaft, and again, I got lucky. A friend made this one for me. Thanks. Here we're testing it with a car battery. Once this was working, we had to test it on the revolving stage. That's beautiful. Two of the draw bolt catches fell apart due to poor manufacturing. We had to fix that first. The disc was turning, but here we ran into some issues, as you might hear in the background. And it was quite extensive. With some planing and sanding, we managed to get the bumps a lot smaller. But they were still 3 to 4 millimeters. We then bought a couple of springs to push the drive wheel up. We didn't know how much force would be needed, so we just estimated. But we got lucky again. It was working. We ended up using four extra caster wheels on the outer ring, which made the disc a lot more stable. However, we still needed to make the DMX control. And of course, a huge power supply. We used a Meanwell power supply for LED lighting of 1000 watt, which was well protected against overload and feedback. When the revolving stage is slowing down, the motor starts to work as a dynamo, thus inducing voltage and sending it to the power supply. Yet another friend helped me to put all the electronic parts together. Yeah, I got lucky again. 
Here we added a stage skirt. It was lots of work. Admit it. I thought we might not even get it ready in time for the show. But we did. And doesn't it look awesome? Thanks for watching. And let us know. What are you gonna build today?